Hmm. See, if I had that dragon thing while I'm talking, it, it'd be ta it would be typing all of this. Always. I've got a secret Been carrying around Don't need the burden Gone. Hi! They switched up the music on me today. Don't need no burdens. Yes, sir, I'm with that. How are you today? I'm Paula Andrea Pyle, and you have tuned in either purposefully or inadvertently to Mode of Cosmic Therapy. What in the world is mode of cosmic therapy? I don't have a clue. And anytime I try to explain it, I get so far away from it. That's what happens in our life. Let it be what it is. You know, you watch it if you want to. If you don't want to, change the channel. But then if you decide to stay, just let it unfold like I do. None, none of this is scripted. I don't have a, not the foggiest idea of what I'm going to say or what I'll be doing through this hour. But I can assure you that everything that does happen will be interlaced together as our lives are because we are so connected with everything that happens. Everything that happens. It happens for a divine reason. We won't ever know the reason. We can speculate and we can draw scenario scenarios around it but that does not necessarily mean that we've even gotten close to what the episode was bringing to us in fullness. Let me welcome and thank Mitzi for being on the camera again with me this week. I truly adore her and her efforts. And the same goes with Sandy on the soundboard and all of the things that she does. I love and appreciate her. And then beautiful Emmy is back with us once again in the studio. Okay, so what are we going to do today? Who knows? You know, I put a couple of hats up here because I love hats. I love hats. And they represent, you know, on another show, I think I broke down hat. What would that be? Eight, one, is nine, and two, so it's 11. So, you know, it's the relationship with we have with each other. And when we put a hat on our head, we're having a relationship with that object on top of our heads. So who knows, I may put them on, I may not. I don't have any intention as to what I will do or not do. The whole thing, this whole show is about showing the relevance of disjointed things and how they fit perfectly into a beautifully construed puzzle that we have no uh, part in um, erecting or manipulating, but just are in it for the ride. You know, I think it was the famous Bill Hicks who made a point out of this. That's all it is. It's a ride. And when we can enjoy certain aspects of it, it makes the ride enjoyable. Of course, there's going to be some bumps and lumps along the way. What do I want to do today, Mitzi? What do I want to do today? Let's see, I might start off with, of course, I always love to pull out one of these papers to start the theme of the, um, well, I got two. What am I going to do? Which one? Okay, Mitzi, I'm, I haven't looked at either one. Call it left or right? Right. Okay, she said right, so I'm going to take the right one. Ah, <laughs> well, that was a great one, Mitzi. That was a great one. Because on this piece of paper, it says, for the theme of this show, your business is not to speculate, but to experience a firsthand. Your business is not to speculate, but to experience firsthand. Speculate. Uh, don't draw assumptions and don't think what it will be before it's here. You know, I read somewhere and I thought that was, I think it's with um, the famous uh, psychologist uh, R.D. Laing, L-A-I-N-G, but he might not have been the one that said it, but some guy 
So I might not be giving, it might have been the Cooper guy. He was a psychologist too that said these words. But anyway, one of them said it. And I just love that. I just love it, love it, love it. He said, beyond my experience, whatever I take, beyond my experience murders us. You know, if we're taking the ideas and the assumptions and the beliefs and the, um, the realizations of another beyond our experience, if we've not experienced, it's not true for us. And so if we um, grab on to, just because we may love our mothers dearly and she may believe a certain way, but if I have not experienced that for myself, then if I take on her beliefs without having be experienced them to myself, it's murdering me. Anyway, I loved it. Probably uh, did a bang-up job in uh, taking apart what he actually did say. Your business is not to speculate, but to experience firsthand. Speculate. Spec. Speculate. Okay, let's see. We're not to speculate. So, ooh, one, seven, oh. For those of you who don't know, I, I use numerology to break down words because words contain far more meanings than what we ascribe to them. We're lazy creatures. We just like to think we know what a word means and there we run with it and our whole lives are governed by that. Okay, eight, nine, 14. You know that's the truth. We got to experience that's the heart of it. That's the heart of speculate. Do you understand? The experience is the heart of speculate, not standing on the outside. That's why I'm talking about that quote that I just said. Anything I have not experienced personally is not true for me. It murders me because I have assumed a false um, platform to stand on. It's not mine. Might be yours. It's not mine. Eight, three is 11, 14, 16. You know, I just thought I ended another show. How about that? I'm adding it together. It's a 30. It's always big business. Okay? Anytime you see 30, it's big business. All right. So it's a 16. Hmm. I haven't talked about this lately, have I, Mitzi? The tower. Huh? So if you speculate, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you speculate something on something and you don't experience it, God, universal spirit, consciousness is going to shake you, shake you, shake you. The, found, the very foundation upon which you stand until you come to the realization of what you need to know, not what Sally may or... Johnny Joe knows. All right, what are we talking about? Your business is not to speculate, to, but to experience firsthand. Your big business is not to speculate, but to experience firsthand. Do it. Is that what Nike says? Do it. So we got a 15, and we got a 6. 21. <laughs> I love it. I think I'm going to use them the tarot cards today because this is the um, universe, is what this card is right here. But um, it's the dance of freedom. And how many of us want to be free? Free from what? Free from the... Free from self-intoxication is what we want to be free from. You know, when all that you are concerned about is yourself, you are one miserable soul. So, how in the world do we experience without speculating? We dance. We dance through this life. We do our dance. We don't do another's dance. We don't look at somebody else's footwork and try to emulate that. Although 
serious dancers, I'm not going to take away from that. They have to follow, you know, choreographed maneuvers. But I'm saying in our own lives and what we do, we must create our own dance and implement it. There's that six. You're not ever going to see that six again that you don't know that it's love. It's also conflict, but... And a 12. 18. Shut up, Paula. Shut your mouth, Paula. 18. We got to dance on a journey that the vibration is 18. P-S-Y-C-H-O-L-O-G-I-C-A-L. It's a psychological tunnel. You know, you're going to be carried down that long tunnel because you came from here or you might have come from here or you might have come from here or you might have come from here. But anyway, you're going to come down into this tunnel that's called Earth, the Earth experience, and you're going to have a candle, okay? Because you do get a candle, because that's your light, your canyon. You know, when you come in, you can this light. But as you travel down this road of psychological episodes that are, guess who they're governed by? Your mother. She always gets a bum rap, but she doesn't really in the end. But anyway, you got that candle that you're carrying along this way. But the more that you take from everyone else, oh, well, what he's doing looks good. I'll take a little bit of that. Oh, what she's doing, oh, yeah, I want some of that. Oh, I want to do that. Instead of your own candle, I'm going to break it down in just a minute, Mitzi. Then that light that you started off with goes out about right there. And you are in the dark. You're in the dark. As long as you copy or want to imitate other people, you are in the dark. Because, let's see what that candle is. You know, candles are used in rituals. Wonder why? Wonder why they're so significant. Uh oh, you mean there's love in a candle? Huh? 8, 12, 15. You have the freedom, you possess it, you just have to expose it. That's all you have to do. Now, you know what? I think I'm going to pull that in right now. Let me see. We'll put that one back. And. Let me see which one I want. I'll take this one, I think. Let's put this one on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We are going to do something I've never done before, Mitzi. Let's see how this is going to play out. I brought this. Now, y'all going to have to take the word, my word for it if you can't hear it because I've never done this, and I didn't let Sandy or Mitzi or anybody know I was going to do it. So, and I've got some tapes that I grabbed at random. Um, all right, Nancy. You can't see the names of them. You don't know what they are anyway. Left or right? Left. Left this time, okay? And wherever and whatever comes on. See, whatever starts to play. That does not mean I'll get every word of it. But whatever it is, we're going to take it and blend it right into this. Again, showing you that everything is connected. Okay, y'all might hear it, you might not. But I'm going to try. If you hear it, that's great, Mitzi. Because I'll try to get whatever it says. Let's see if I can. Okay? All right, let's go. Well, it was playing. It don't play now. Maybe it's... On, off, play, record, stop. Maybe it's not on. Maybe it's not on. Well, I know that other uh, was playing. Volume on, power. Is there no power into this thing? Okay. All right, that ain't playing. 
That ain't working, that ain't working. You just ain't working. Okay, well, that idea went out the window, didn't it? Let's try this one. I knew, I thought, because I, well, okay. We're not going to do that today. So, plans, even on the spur of the moment plans, get interrupted at times. Okay, seven, three, one, five, one. So we got a two, and we got a 15. We got a seven, a 17, yeah, the star. All right, I'll follow that. See how these plans of mine so quickly laid. Still can't believe it don't work. It was working. See, look at me, look at all this effort. Look at all this effort I'm making. It's not gonna make one bit of difference, it ain't gonna play. Okay, so we are going to go with what? 17, the star. What book do we want? We want, maybe, I'm gonna use this book. Maybe, or this book. Yeah, I might use this book. Let me see if I can find the star in this book. Just to make it random, you know, just to keep it interesting. And, um, different. All right, what have we got here? Ah, you know, on another show, uh, not so long ago, uh, we were talking about how water was going to be used and the color orange. Anyway, that was another show. Let's see. This is Nun, N-U-N. It's a Hebrew letter. And um, it has the value of 90. And it means fish hook, that which draws the fish out of the water. Hmm. Okay. So we're talking about doing the dance of freedom in our life. We're talking about um, not copying and following anybody else's journey, but following our own. We're talking about the light going out because when we try to look to somebody else's path and think we're going to get some kind of happiness from